Hi. Hi. I'm Caitlin. <laughs> I'm Jackie. This is Caddy Jack Knits. Welcome. Welcome back. Yep, we did a whole other podcast this morning and Caitlin we mimed it. Yes, we did. It was the miming podcast. We, we're going to leave it up for those of you who like to read lips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Caddy Jack's. Jack's. It. We'll put it up at extra slow speed. It'll be like a third contest. Right. Caitlin just wanted to come back. Couldn't get enough of it. She wanted to see me again. Yeah. Okay, so. It's <laughs> Sunday. It's still Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday. It's January Sunday. 5th. Yeah. And we made some modifications because I'm sick. And Sally's sick and Lily's sick. Oh, right. And so Caitlin will be sick. Just kidding. I washed my hands. I washed my right, hands. Right, I know. I didn't, you didn't tell me before I came over that this whole household is sick. Yeah. So we're sick, so we didn't want baby Goldie to be sick. So That's Melissa Jenkins, baby. We'll be here next week. So we thought this would just be a quick... Lily Spabble along bingo extravaganza. Right. Um, talk about our um, podcast win or winners of the Lily Spabble along and... The bingo. The bingo. So. Yes. So, I think we'll start off with the New Year's blessing. Let's do that. We need it. We need it. So, this this particular poem I chose after we read all of your comments in the Lily's mm -hmm. Bible blog, yeah. which what we ask people to do is just take a moment um, to reflect on somebody that they were grateful for. Yeah. And what you said was oh so touching so touching you, everybody should go back and read the comments if yeah. you just need a little pick me up it's just so lovely to hear what you all shared or hear what other people shared about the people they love or appreciate so and this, all good. the strength out there and all the kindness yeah. out there we don't hear enough about that no. and it's a real thing so this is by one of my favorite poets john o'donohue and he wrote this for his mother and um it is called Benoct, which is a blessing for the new year. And it's four stanzas, so here we go. On the day when the weight deadens on your shoulders and you stumble, may the clay dance to balance you. And when your eyes freeze behind the gray window and the ghost of loss gets into you, may a flock of colors, indigo, red, green, and azure blue come to awaken in you a meadow of delight. Mm. When the canvas frays in the curl of thought, which is a type of boat, by the way, and a stain of ocean blackens beneath you, may there come across the waters a path of yellow moonlight to bring you safely home. May the nourishment of the earth be yours. May the clarity of light be yours. May the fluency of the ocean be yours. May the protection of the ancestors be yours. And so may a slow wind work these words of love around you, an invisible cloak to mind your life. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. nice. So I guess we'll announce the winner oh, like, right away. Right. Why not? So, okay. I'm, you're so, tuning in for that. Yeah, and so for some of the Lily's Bobble a lot. <laughs> Oh Jackie's my God, petting my so bubbles, good. and we'll oh. we'll should we we'll talk about this in a minute. In but a minute. anyway, we so um two are. By the way, it still looks beautiful four hours later. Thank you. You were thinking <laughs> I was gonna fade. <laughs> I was I was texting her after she left, and I said, "Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I won't be able to go to knitting today." Oh, and, we have our knitting and group. see everybody's reaction to your sweater because I love yeah. it so much. And then here she is again. I must have summoned her back yeah, that's... to see it again, all over again. Caitlin, okay. you're doing it to me all over again. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so anyway, you. so um, two podcasts ago, we aired our Lily Bobble Along, Knit Along. Bobble, knit along. Um, this is with, um, the Jojo designer Trico. is Jojo Trico, Paula from Jojo Trico. And um, we partnered with her and um, Hip Knit. Hip knit, hip knit, knit wool, knit, wool. wool. Um, graciously donated a sweater quantity, depending on size, you know, of um, the original colorway that Joe, that um, Paula knit um, 
Her ginger bread. Sweater. Gingerbread, which is There's just There's low hair in here and wool. Look how good it would look on both of us. Mm. Mm. So, and then, ooh, oh, well. uh, um, anyway, and then um, a bag. Um, and so we, um, all the people that entered their comments below that podcast were entered. We had 375 entries, which I think might be the largest yeah, entry we've so. ever had. And we did random generator. Um, and I think it's fun because it's a... It's a knit along, but the prize is going yeah, out at the beginning right, rather right. than in the end. And we do have a Ravelry page, so we're hopeful that those people that want to join along will be posting their FOs mm -hmm. or their whips and, and all that. And using the hashtag. Hashtag Lily's Bobble Sweater Cal. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, so, anyway, drum roll please. We um, picked a winner. Da -da 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 -da. I'm going to put my new glasses on. They're beautiful. Oh, thank you. I was fishing for compliments. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is Darcy Thompson 1. No, because it was one week ago. Oh, sorry. That's okay. okay. Darcy okay. Thompson. Hi, Darcy Hi, Thompson. Hi, Darcy Thompson. And you we won. Woo! Um, and we want to read your comment, which was super lovely. Uh, my dear husband is my inspiring person. His special gift is in helpfulness. A few nights ago, I ended up with a giant yarn barf mess. I think we can all relate to that at some point. He came into the room to ask when I wanted to eat dinner and saw me covered in tangled yarn. He immediately sat down and started to help untangle. What a guy. Don't ask how I got the yarn in such a mess in the first, mess in the first place. So anyway, Darcy, um, congratulations. Uh, we will, and we actually probably have already done this, mm -hmm. contacted you through um, YouTube. Did you hear back from her? No, no. but okay. contact so us. So we, con we sent you a message there, but you know, if you don't get that, you can get to contact us, Caddy Jacks Knits at Gmail, um, or on our Instagram page, um, and we will get this shipped out to you as soon as possible. So congratulations. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to shift right into... No, no we're not. we have another oh. one. So, oh, oh, right, right, right. <clears throat> yes. We have a, another winner. An impromptu winner. Because when we were reading all the comments, there was a certain person who was mentioned three times as a person that people were grateful for. Yeah. And that special human being is, is Mara Lisa. Lisa from Girl Meets Yarn. Yeah. And yeah. she is um, a podcaster and over a Vlogmas, she was podcasting a lot about her breast cancer yeah. diagnosis and her response to that. And it so moved us. It so moved so many people. They were, people were commenting about her, her grace mm -hmm. and her strength and what an inspirational figure she is to them. And we wanted to... We agree, and we wanted to yeah. acknowledge her Yay. with nothing better than, than Melissa Jenkins earrings. Yes. So, oh, mine are stuck in my hair. Yeah. Um, so I'm wearing Melissa Jenkins today, but um, we want Marlisa to just go to Melissa's website and pick a pair of earrings, and um, she, we will get those sent out to you, but we wanted to send you a little cheer. From Melissa yeah. and us, too. Yeah. We yeah. love you. Love you, Marlisa. So thank you, everybody, yeah. who played along, and now we can hear about... Your beautiful sweater. My beautiful kids. sweater. So, yeah. um, as we talked about, this is the um, this is the Lily's Bobble sweater oh, by Jojo Trico, and it just it's done. It took me about glorious. three weeks. It's um, I did not knit it. The pattern calls for Aran weight yarn uh, stranded with mohair. I did DK weight yarn stranded with mohair. I used La Bienamés. Um, DK and uh, and her mohair as well, and it's in the Madeleine colorway, um, which I just think is the most glorious mm -hmm. color that ever existed. It's just it has little bits of black running through it. I think the lights capturing oh, it pretty well. So it lovely. is one of these colors that absorbs light, so when it's dark out, it's just sort of muted, and then in the bright sunlight, it really has an ultraviolet quality. Mm -hmm. um, I wet blocked it. It. It is so soft, comfortable. It's definitely my new favorite sweater. Mm -hmm. um, I can see why. And um, so, yeah, I can't say enough about the patterns. Really super easy. It's knit from the bottom up. Um, so you knit to a little bit below the armpits and then do the sleeves. And then Jackie's going to show you where she is because you know, it's more of a visual. But then you start knitting this way. And um, the bobbles can eventually smell. Yeah. Like it's make six and then yeah. make five and four. Yep. Yeah, and the like decreases that. are beautifully hidden behind um, the bobbles, which is really nice. And there are new to me this time with short rows at the back of the you know, once you join oh, yeah. in the round, the short rows, there's a, 
or uh, down here yeah, at the back. Yeah, at the back, which is interesting. Which I and I also tried a new method of short rows, um, which actually um, Paula had recommended in her um, in her pattern, which is Japanese short rows, which I found to be super simple. Mm, you add yes. these little markers each time you create a short row, you know, whatever. And um, it was super easy to follow. So that's definitely something that was fun. Nice. Um, yeah. So can't say enough about it. Love it, love it, love it. Mm -hmm. I did. I, I, my, the, my other modification is I don't really like it when um, crew necks are really tight. Jackie likes them high mm -hmm. and tight. Mm -hmm. um, so I just didn't decrease as much as the pattern called for. And I did the, the large size. But I also had to go adjust my gauge because I wasn't using Erin, so I went down a needle size. Um, I went to, to a nine, nine. Mm -hmm. and I did, I did swatch, swatch it in the round. I wet blocked it, did the whole thing. So I, I like the fit. I love the fit. I mean, it just that you can see the sleeves have this little bell to them, and uh, we should um, say that um, we both had this happen where yeah. the measurements, you know, for the sleeve yeah. length, it said. I don't know. I don't remember how many centimeters, yeah. but it's not up to your armpit. It's beneath yes, your armpit. Yes, it's really it drops. Yeah. So, you know. so just know that when you're sort of done with your sleeve, you know, to to add it to the rest of the sweater does seem short, but, but that's not. just the design. I mean, if you think about it, there's this much more of this. Yeah. Of it to go. So um, can't say enough about it. It's just so yummy and warm and you could certainly do it without mohair and it would still have a beautiful impact too for people who don't like it or you can add Surrey. Yeah. Um, you know what I noticed? What? So it's stash down and I am using stash yard. Yay. This was what we started our podcast. Podcast one. No way. We started with this yarn. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is Mad Tash Farm Twist in copper pink mm. and it doesn't really but it has some speckles yeah. so I think it'll look good with Kate yeah she needs it to go well with me yeah exactly we're hoping to um, be sporting these at one day at Vogue Knitting Live so if you okay. see us there you can pull us <laughs> pick us out of the crowd and here we hold yes. one of these so we Caitlin also I don't know if you mentioned it this time but we're <laughs> oh I'm so sorry <laughs> heel the knitting yeah oh right when you have four four balls of yarn yeah. um so I put my two each set in a sack and yeah yeah exactly and that makes it a little easier as you're going around yeah it is a little bit of yarn management yeah but helical knitting it's so worth it and I just wanted to show off so I added um, I added mohair to mine from cake wool so I think it's a perfect do you want to throw do you have a ball in there you can yeah. show of the mohair um, and when she I'll show it these are little stitch markers from her and I and just want to show too from um, Bed of Roses, mm -hmm. the customized stitch markers. So this is just the, this is the mohair from Cake. It's um, called Exposed Blush. Exposed Blush and then just to show you the label so it's a little off but mm -hmm. Cake. Yeah. Anyway, um, and the only difference I suppose is there's a tutorial that I looked up and it is from Vine on how to make these pop. Mm -hmm. So she has a technique where after you do the bobble, you kind of cinch a little collar underneath it and cinch it so it pops. Yeah. But anyways. And you I, can see the difference. I mean, I didn't do that. I, I kind of am happy with how they're know. a little bit flatter. Yeah. Um, but. Um, but it's a fast knit, and we think it would be a very fun, um, for instance, I wrote Christina from Chelsea Yarns. You know all her latest colors that are so amazing? Yeah, well, all of her I was, colors are amazing. I know, that's true, but I was trying to get her to make one. Like, oh, oh. could you see it in 24 karat? Oh, yeah. could you see it in Oh, is that what you're doing? Oh, you're, yeah. You're so subtle. I know. Well, it's just because... When I see the, when I've seen those yarns, I'm like, what could I knit with mm -hmm. them? And I think right. that sweater would yeah, be, it would be a perfect beautiful. pattern. So it's a it's kind of like a fun confection for oh, whatever yarn you have. So good. this pattern. So we love yeah. it, and we do love Lily. Yeah, who's downstairs knitting her um, fourth sweater right now. Sally and Nitty, Sally and Nitty, Sally and Lily have two sweaters blocking mm -hmm. currently that she'll get to see next. Week. Yeah, we have a busy week next week. Um, yeah. And I feel like there was... Oh, I just wanted to say, too, that um, when I... I will have it on my show or on my Ravelry page, but I used... 
I thought I would need five skeins um, of this, which is 250 yards a skein, but I only needed four, and um, and I didn't even, I, I'm probably half, three quarters of the way through on my fourth. Okay. Um, the other thing I love about La Vienna May's mohair is it's super generous yardage. It's like 525 yards, so it's a lot mm. of, for, of mohair. Nice. It's beautiful mohair, so that's my plug. So, yay. Anyway. Um, so the other order of the day is bingo. Right. Right? Right. So uh, thank you to all, about 175 people or plus who tuned in to our live bingo yes. last on, on Wednesday. It's still this and week. And we were <laughs> so sideways. We were. So sorry. We're going to we'll we'll work on that up. for next year. Um, so we had super fun um, having you play along. And then uh, we were, were doing a giveaway. Yes. Uh, we have some really wonderful prizes to give away. Um, but I'm going to flash this doing something. Quick, but I want to... Okay. This was the pie. So Jamie um, had showcased her pecan bourbon chocolate deliciousness pie. Mm -hmm. um, and we had a lot of comments about, what what's the recipe? Yes, um, in there. So then uh, those of you that this week have played along, um, we um, asked you to pick at least one board. You could pick several boards. And when you got bingo to list it in the comments, the, the things you knit that corresponded to, to the bingo squares. And so that has been super fun to read through those and see, you know, all the things that, you know, maybe we knit along mm -hmm. with you or in spirit and, um, and all the inspiration. So that was really neat. Mm -hmm. So we had about 125 um, comments. So, yeah. So we picked, so we have, we picked four four winners um, randomly generated and let's just talk about the prizes so um, the Spas Tree Co um, has graciously donated a whole bunch of goodies um, and so thank you to Lisa and Melissa mm -hmm. for your generosity for that um, and the person who um, won that um, is Crystal DeGroat Heppy. So I really hope that I pronounced that correctly. Um, turns out she's a Madison. Um, she's a local um, knitter. So Crystal, we will comment Yay. or have already commented, but you're just seeing this now um, on YouTube. So get us your information so we can mm -hmm. get a Spas Tree Co. to reach out to you with all of their yumminess. Mm -hmm. um, and then... Um, this the next one would be for a Firefly Fibers gift certificate from R L Y S. R L Y S. So Alisa, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, and that goes to Julie Mancius. Um, so hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Um, and she's winning this prize in spite of the fact that blue is her favorite color. Right. Caitlin read that. I didn't even have to question. No, but, but yeah, yes. but thank you. <laughs> anyway, um, so Julie, congratulations on that. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, we have a wonderful giveaway from Hip, Whip, Hip Knit Wool. Um, they donated um, some mohair and um, wool. Wool, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then and JoJo Trico, sorry. It's okay. Paula is going to donate a hat pattern, so you can mm -hmm. knit that. And then um, this wonderful, huge, huge tote. tote. Um, and so the winner of this prize is Grandma's Seven. Mm -hmm. Grandma's Seven, um, congratulations. Yay. So we will look forward to hearing from you and send this out to you. And last but certainly not least, um, Sally Journey Quilts of the Sally Lily Jackie household has donated one of her beautiful um, wall quilts. And she chose um, this one because she thought it was New Year's Eve-esque. Yeah, it's called um, Winter Morning City. And you can see she hand stitches everything. I wonder if you can see. Yeah, you, you see can the see the texture. texture it's all hand stitched. And the quilt behind us at Bingo was one of her quilts, too. Yeah. So there's a little piece of Sally. So this goes to Joyce Parsons, Yay. which we're... Um, really excited um, that she was picked for this one um, because Joyce is somebody we met um, at the Wool and Honey event this summer and I think Joyce does her own quilting so um, so congratulations Joyce and um, we look forward to sending that out to you so yay to all the winners and yeah thank you for playing with yeah. us we hope I mean the whole point was we hope you had a lot of fun and um, 
yeah. got to look back at your year of knitting. Yeah. I, I should quick say this is my sister's yeah. knit. I, oh, I don't really need so to luxurious. show it again. She showed it. The Georgetown. Yeah, in the Pearl Soho. I don't remember. Cashmere or yumminess. Or something yeah. like that. Cashmerino blue. She said I could wear it today. It's nice so, of her. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So yeah. we get to see that again. But what a wonderful year it's yeah. been. So uh, we will. Our goal is to podcast next Saturday. Yeah. Uh, Melissa Jenkins will join us to show us some weaving because we're kicking off officially our new mm -hmm. to you 2020 cow mm -hmm. um, that we are work we are have teamed up with a number of other makers and podcasters um, and really trying to inspire everybody to just try some new craft. So Melissa's coming on and showing us um, her how she she does beautiful weavings in addition to her beautiful jewelry. Mm -hmm. um, and she's a knitter. And she's a knitter. Uh, and then uh, Lily and Sally will have join us. So many things. Yeah. And then yeah. we have things we've knit too to share, but we're going to save them for next weekend yeah. when we feel better. So we're so. hoping the sound works on this one. And, <sighs> and um, is that it? I think that's it. That's it. So. That's all we got, folks. So it's short and sweet. We promise. So by next Saturday. I mean, you'll have seen us three times in less than a week. So I don't know what more you could ask for from us. That's it. You're We're sick of us. So sick of us. Yeah. Yeah. Although no. I, I mean, I gotta tell you, Caitlin, this is the second time seeing this sweater today, yeah. and I am not sick of it. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So it was good to see you again. Yeah. Well, I can't. Well, I can't wait to see your finish. So you'll yours will probably be finished next week. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll have to get all three of us. Bobble, yeah, yeah, yeah and it'll, fun and it'll have shoot. like touch me signs. <laughs> we'll just put ourselves on a corner somewhere. Yeah, let's do that. Touch Maybe we my can fundraise for something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Touch my bobbles. Okay. okay. On that note, <laughs> okay, we're bobbling out. Bye, okay, guys. Bye.